Bravo, bravo. An extraordinary performance. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Last Epoch with pre-patch hype week day five. And what do I have for you today? We're going to be checking out performance and optimization. This is unequivocally the longest post they have put up and the most reading, and it's going to be the least amount of reading I'm going to do on a post. OK, so just follow me for a little bit. I get asked all the time about performance and frame rates and how it's going to be. And being a necro player, it really affects me a lot. So we're going to check out some changes coming for 090 on March 9th, the highly anticipated convergence update. Now, a couple of things I want you to know on my action RPG discord link in the description. We're going to be doing our own little race. OK, first one to find my new unique and first one to find my new new unique, get legendary potential on it and get plus one to maximum skeletons. Join the discord. We're going to have multiple multiplayer parties over voice chat. We're going to be streaming for four days. We're going to be giving away copies of the game. It's going to be a really fun time. Check out the discord. OK, performance and optimization. Now, look at all this reading. I'm just going to scroll for a second. Scrolling, 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 and we're at the end. Very, very, very long post. You don't want to hear me read this. And honestly, I don't want to read it. Now, just so you are aware, earlier I was at the gym working on my fitness and I read this entire post. OK, so it's not like I didn't. I, I read it all. OK, and a lot of it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is very interesting if you're into this. Here is a very important couple of sentences. We have been going through every single visual effect we have in the game, benchmarking it and making sure it is up to our standards, both from visual and performance perspectives. And that's what's important to know. EHG has taken performance. And as you can see from lighting and sound and skills and assets very seriously. But they also want a game where you shouldn't have to be stuck on streamer mode in order to play it. Every enemy, every skill, every asset, every torch in the game has been stressed from a performance standpoint. OK, and I'm going to show you some of those improvements right now. So here's a dragon, right? The fire dragon, the ancient dragon. I'm sorry. Here's the ancient dragon. And you will see that when the ancient dragon is using its attack, its frames drop as low as 40. Okay, does it go under 40? All right, as low as mid 40s. All right. Now, after all the improvements that they talk about in the previous paragraphs, check out the new dragon. Hmm. Does it go under 100? 97. So at its peak, attacks it drops to 97 you are talking that is a 100 percent improvement it's actually under it's probably about 105 110 percent and i know this is only one little example okay but it is goes to show how much effort they have put in now i have a video that i have been working on okay and i think it's going to be really interesting playing the current version of last epoch benchmarking average frames on my Windforce RTX 4090 on max settings 4K. What kind of frames we get? Then running the exact same content and seeing which one is better. That is a video, an LE versus the 4090 video coming in the future. So I'm gonna put it to the test, okay? It's actually the first type of video I've ever made that's kinda, you know, going into more tech, which is fine. As we go on down, we are now going to be looking at forward shader and deferred shader. All right. Check out the reference scene. Forward shader averaging 34 frames per second after the deferred shader has now been added. And again, multiple paragraphs up. I'll link it in the description if you want to take a look. Visual clarity. Not as good when you look at the forward shader. OK. But look at the performance difference. 300 from 40 from 34 to 300. OK, now I don't know what this actually like moves to in game. But when you talk about, you know, an enormous difference, 
30 frames to 400 frames. It's a pretty big deal. As we continue down, we're going to take a look at volatile zombie skill. And we're going to look at this graph right here. When the zombies explode, you're going to see this big spike in the graph, which is obviously performance spikes. Lag. Okay. See it? See it right there? New improvements. Look at the size of the graphs now on the explosions. Little blips. There's still a blip, but it is much, much smaller. So pretty. I love it when they put Necro in here. It's like, dude, I have zombies. I got all kinds of things. I like it when they show that. Okay. Something else, and this is something that is kind of ongoing that they are working on, okay? It is called Trails. And basically, it's the animation that's on the back with it, okay? So current version, 120. Optimized version, almost 160. About a 40 or 50 frames increase on multiple projectiles. And again, for me, that uses... Wraiths that will be shooting, using mages that will be shooting multiple projectiles, having golems running around, like this is huge for me. I mean, anybody that has a lot of stuff going in on screen. All right. I like that optimized version. Okay. And they're using skills in the end of time. That's not allowed. That's the old end of time. We don't want to talk about that. As we continue down, working with engine limitations. Okay. So on here, this is actually, I think they're talking about having tons of minions on screen. Do, do, do. Mm. Periodic spawning, several dummies. This video is showing several dummies, current VFX, fast hitting. Here it goes. Significant performance drops, which impacted fast hitting and summons builds the most. Sometimes I feel like I read these and it's like they're talking directly to me. I know that's not the case. But I'm going to think that. Okay. So on here, having multiple fast hitting minions. Think of my lazy minion build. Reference 40 frames. That's current. Optimized almost 100, basically sitting mid 90s. Double, it was 100% increase, okay? Last but not least, this is my favorite, all right? Look at this graph. Here is the scene baseline fr <laughs> frame time. I don't know what these graphs mean. This graph is red, and that's current, so we know that red is bad. But look at this graph. It's blue. So it must be a whole lot better. I'm guessing up here when it's breaking down, what is it, the milliseconds? It's a lot higher. We're down here. It's lower. <laughs> lower number better. And then another chart. Get this. The red graph is current. And the blue graph is new and improved. I like it. Same thing, lower MS on both of these graphs. And this is set at 60 frames per second. Okay. And that's it. We're not done. We're going to continue to work on it to make sure it is good. Now, all of this data and all this stuff we're looking at is great. But when it comes to true optimization, how does it feel in game? Can you notice it? How many frames can I actually get? Video coming up. LE last epoch versus the 4090. Every setting maxed, running the same area at 4K, old versus new. What can we get? That's the video. Performance and optimization. You've now heard about sound and how that's how that's gonna look. You've seen skill VFX, you've seen environment, you've seen music or heard music. We've gone through new enemies and new armors and now improvements to performance. Are you getting excited yet? Three days away from 090, the highly anticipated multiplayer patch. 
I'm going to put it as the first link in the description. If you are looking for a non-toxic, positive gaming community, Last Epoch is going to be our number one. And we jump from games to games, but Last Epoch is kind of what we've been waiting for. Giveaways, streaming, multiplayer parties, and my unique race. It's going to be really fun. First link in the description. Hope you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. Mm -hmm.